Hey everyone, Russ Quick Electric here with you again today after a short break. I want to apologize to the viewers that look forward to the content weekly, but due to an overload of schoolwork as I finish my degree, I've been unable to upload on my normal schedule. Now today's video is in a build and I know that may shock many, nor is it a schematic. I wanted to make a video about the current state of electricity and my own personal opinions about the direction it's currently headed. Now Rust being a sandbox survival combat game makes it have a pretty unique pathway in development. The introduction of electricity was one of my favorite updates as a relatively new player to Rust as it added a world of intricacy and offered less PvP oriented players their own role on a team or their availability to create a trap that might get them the gear that they ever so desired. The issue is that electricity as it stands in this game has too many limits primarily due to memory, as well as the currently available components. Now, people see weekly videos release of new games, new efforts, new traps, but the interlying essence of the majority of these electrical builds are the same. There's very few new things that have come out. There might be new min-maxing and variables that allow for different builds, but the underlying principles and the underlying circuitry is relatively the same and there's very little to do to modify it. Now, with bigger builds such as Pong and Tetris, which have been attempted and even made as seen in prior videos, um, the issue is, is that once a build with electricity that's very intricate, such as computer-based logic gates and whatnot, the FPS drops so much that it's essentially impossible to play. So that just completely eliminates the use of spending the time to make anything worthwhile and large. And now while trap bases and automatic lights are fine and dandy, there's only so many variations of those things that can be made. And I want this video to be my perspective on how I feel electricity can be implemented to take the sandbox survival to the next level. I want electricity to be a more beneficial resource with actual incentive that would encourage more players to take the time to learn how to use it and take advantage of it. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, let's address the auto turret. The auto turret is currently one of the most controversial items in game as it creates a very hard to counter advantage to those that have access to them, whether it be through zerging or from just rad town camping. It's extremely accurate and it has a fast rate of fire capable of holding off many people and there's very few restrictions on where or how they may be placed, plus they're craftable. The idea that an auto turret could require an electrical input is a quick and simple solution. By requiring people to have a wired source of electricity, it very much so hinders the ability to bring them cross map to your raids, set them up and get a reliable power source to them, especially if they require a decent power input. This would require bases to be wired with electricity if they plan to have multiple and they could be very costly as well electricity wise. That would require people to actually make an effort in using them versus just simply finding them, plopping them down, crafting a hundred of them, and preventing any raids from occurring. Next up, let's talk about the cold. Now I'm sure as many of you know, building in the cold biomes may actually be one of the most annoying things if you have no idea how bad the cold hurts at night. Yes, you could load your base up with fireplaces and campfires and waste a ton of wood regularly on preventing you and your team from freezing to death. Or, there could be a realistic implementation of a constant source of heat, such as a radiator. By implementing this, it gives another reason to learn the basics of this great electrical system that was implemented and allows for realistic snow biome bases. By allowing something that is craftable with a reasonable amount of resources, wired bolt, and attached to a base that generates a constant source of heat within a certain radius, I think it's completely realistic to think that more players would implement it and use electricity in their bases with a practical outcome. Now 
Now the next opinion is a bit biased, and I've recently been hooked up on build-up based games in which technology and electricity benefit you by making your life easier, if you're willing to put in the work ahead of time, as well as the resource cost added in. Now while I appreciate the hard work that goes into splitting ores regularly into both regular and large furnaces, I would love to do even more work one specific time to have a quasi-automated system that could do it for me. Of course, assuming that the components and knowledge of wiring are all balanced. The thought of an electrical-based furnace, as well as a ore splitter, while controversial I'm sure, should certainly be considered. I think the progressive build-up from stones into rockets in this game has room for the implementation of some modern technology, especially with the electricity update. If you can farm the resources and understand the process of wiring advanced electronics, you should be allowed to have some quality of life as well. Last but not least, I couldn't possibly make something this controversial without the idea of an automated crafter. Now we can certainly entertain the idea of an upgraded tier 3 workbench that allows some form of balanced automated crafting if powered correctly with electricity as well as some new components by allowing partial crafting of certain items, once again, with numerous considerations to balancing, it can make life less time consuming with thin rest, allowing players to spend less time AFKing at the workbench and more time doing something more important, like farming nodes, or killing full kits, or getting killed by full kits, or getting killed while farming nodes. It allows people more freedom and an opportunity to use this awesome new system. In conclusion, overall, while I really enjoy the electrical system, we're kind of at a standstill in which the amount of stuff that can be created or used or enjoyed in the game has reached a point where really no new things can be made that aren't too intricate that the game can't actually handle it. I would love to see some more implementation of things that are actually beneficial towards the core essence of the game versus creative server or role-playing based creations. Well, I'm sure, as I said in the video, several of these things are very imbalanced or need to be more refined. I'd love to open up the conversation into a platform where people can come to a progressive solution as to how electricity should progress in the game. I welcome everybody to join my Discord as always, to take part in the conversation, and as always, I thank you guys for your continued support. We're just at the brink of 1.5 thousand subscribers, which is an outrageously high number to me, as to many other people, and I want to thank everybody for always contributing and giving me their input. Thank you. Have a good day.